very humble guru from southern Bangladesh. I brought my TV show to Hollywood in the hope of impressing celebrities with my world-renowned guru powers. I have been invited to the house of professional comedian Brian Posehn. <laughs> Even his house looks funny. Hello, Mickey Mouse's hands are pointing directly at his spirit, which can only mean one thing, that it's spirit time. My guest this week is a popular American comedian who has appeared in Just Shoot Me and Seinfeld. Please welcome Brian Posehn. Uh, thanks for coming over. You have described yourself as being a huge uh, nerd. Yeah, I guess. What is your favorite Star Wars movie, uh, Phantom Menace or Attack of the Clones? Is that it? Yeah, um, you can choose which of the two do you like. Of those two? Yes, of the two Star Wars movies. Did you know there's other Star Wars movies? Uh, what do you mean? There's three movies that existed before Phantom Menace. Yeah, but nobody cares about those ones. So do I still have to pick one? Yes, which, which one would uh, be? Phantom Menace, I guess. Why is that? Because you're making me pick one from two shitty movies. Brian, with your permission, um, I would like to draw out your spirit. Not sure about that. You don't believe in spirits? I just don't think things work like that. Everyone has a spirit. Uh, but what do you mean? Anyway, yeah, okay, yeah, I have a spirit. Yes. Well, with your permission, I can pull it out of you. Okay. And for this, I will use a spirit rod. Sure. Can you close your eyes and uh, open your mouth? Could you miss it one minute? You, you Sorry, I'm looking. The, I know. I, you close your mouth. You have well, to, I'm trying uh, to see what you're doing. I'm just trying to get the bait inside your mouth. Got okay. it! Got it! Got the damn spirit! There it is. He's a teenage boy. 13 years old. He's a cheeky one. I don't know. I mean, he just stood in front of me and pretended to fish. We shouldn't argue in front of your little spirit. Right. He's sitting in his room and he's locked the door. Why would he lock the door to his bedroom? What's he doing To masturbate. There? I don't lock the door though, because I own this house. I can masturbate wherever I want. He's trying to do it now. Come on, come on, mate. There is cameras and everything. Now, Brian, American comedians always roasting each other, uh, not literally roasting on the fire. No, I know what you mean. Where they say cruel and hurtful things. Yeah. You know that? That's what roasting is. Yes. I, I would like to try it on you. Okay. I'll go first. Uh, what's with the glasses, Brian Poussein? But do you have some sort of vision impairment? Yeah. Yeah, I'm nearsighted. <laughs> I knew it. That's why you wear glasses. Right. You nearsighted shit. Okay. This is American culture. Uh -huh. you, do, you try to do me. You wear Sperry Topsiders when you're uh, out fucking goats in the mountains? How did you know that? What? How did you know that? I'm guessing. It was just a joke. I'm I'm not actually saying you're a goat You fucker. told him about the goats. No, see. You told him about the goats. I'm doing what, you're do what you did. You're trying you to told be him funny. about the goats. Who are you talking to? What about you? Brian Poussein, or should it be Brian Stupid? Are there any goats you haven't fucked? Oh, seriously, just. Any goats left? Any goats, man. Any goats at all? Is there one goat? Are you all right? It's incredible. Go find an unfucked hey, goat. Shut up. Get a haircut or something if you have the hair. I just it's had a haircut. Place, isn't it? I think I look pretty good. I mean, he looks like he fucks goats, right? I mean, am I out of line? 